Fall is in full swing, and the city offers a convenient way to get rid of fallen leaves. The city's leaf vacuum program runs from October 17th to November 23rd. It's easy to participate. Simply rake your leaves into the right of way, not into the street, but no further than five feet away from the curb. City staff will make its way through the designated zones to vacuum up the piles. You can find a high resolution map and all the program rules at icgov.org slash leaf vacuum. If you wish to take advantage of this cleanup, here are a few things to keep in mind. Leaves will be removed in the order of the zones specified for each day, so make sure to follow the schedule. In order to be ready for your zones pickup, rake the leaves to the curb as soon as possible. Make sure to keep big sticks out of piles and keep piles away from mailboxes or utility poles. Cars block access to leaves, so be courteous to your neighbors and move your car off the street for the day. Again, all details on the program can be found at icgov.org slash leaf vacuum. While the leaf vacuum program is a great way to reduce yard leaves, there's nothing wrong with keeping them. In fact, leaf decomposition can be good for the soil, giving back much needed nutrients. Mulching leaves with a lawn mower, which involves leaves being crushed up finely and pushed down onto the lawn surface, allows for a more amplified version of this. Mulching leaves also provides a habitat for pollinators and other bugs, which helps both the environment and your yard. By keeping your leaves, you're also helping reduce the emissions that come from the city processing the leaves. Composting them at home provides another good way to get rid of leaves while using the soil you create from their decomposition to benefit your lawn later on. The Iowa City Human Rights Commission has released the recipients of the 38th Annual Human Rights Awards. Each of these individuals has done something to promote fairness, inclusion, and justice within the Iowa City community. Like Mary Isa, who has spent more than 15 years as the Executive Director of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Johnson County. And Na Li, who serves as President of the Iowa City Area Chinese Association, organizing numerous events to make Iowa City a more welcoming place for its Asian community. The award ceremony will be live streamed over Zoom on Wednesday the 26th at 7.30 a.m. Go to icgov.org slash hrawards to register for the Zoom event or to learn more about each of the recipients. That's all for this episode. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time on Iowa City Update.